Welcome to the third event of qualifying, the Swarm Race. This is a Gravitrax maze that we've made for the end of the course. You've probably seen a Swarm Race with the little red marbles chasing the regular racers down the course. Maybe you've seen Hazy Blue win Ultra Marble Games here. Or maybe you've seen Anaconda win Christmas All-Stars on a Swarm Track. But this Swarm Track is different. I guarantee that you've never seen a Swarm Tower. Seven funnels, including a mini funnel at the bottom. It's the same as any old swarm race, except more vertical. This race should be very exciting. We'll have two groups going at a time, and each of the two groups has two races, so there'll be four races in total. Um, like, wall marbles can certainly get first in both groups. They'll, like, let's say, um, a marble from the green, green group gets first, and then a marble from the blue group gets second, and then another marble from the blue group gets third. Um, so the... Marble from the blue group who finished second still gets the same amount of points as the marble from the green group who finished first overall, because the marble in second from the blue group still won in their group. I hope that makes sense, and I hope you're excited to see this maze, along with the cool tower. So, let's get straight into the action with the green and blue groups. Alright, we got 14 marbles from the green and blue groups, 7 from each. Um, Tiger and Slime, the best from the green. Tsunami, Wasabi, and Anaconda. Probably the ones to watch from the blue. Let's see what happens in three, two, one, go! The swarm race has begun for qualifying. Looks like it might be Orange Tastic Racer, no Jaguar. Who has the lead? It'll be Slime. Jaguar is second, um, and Dark Demon is third. And it'll be Jaguar in the lead now, going into Vortex number three. Dark Demon second, Wasabi third, or Chassis Grace fourth, and Snowball fifth. The Swarm has been training as much as these marbles have, so expect to see very little finishers. Hornet's very far behind, they're having a tough qualifying. Out front, it's Dark Demon now. And I think that's Wasabi in second. No, it's Crystal Ball, I think. Really slow on my piece, though. All right. The Swarm will release in just a moment. Now, here comes the Swarm. Out into that first vortex, but down at the bottom, let's see who's leading. Dark Demon still leading. It's not really that important to get first in this opening race. Dark Demon might be the first to try out this new maze. Here we go. Dark Demon's gonna keep the lead. Into the maze they go. And Dark Demon wins this race. Slime second. Wasabi third. Here comes Orange Tastic Racer in fourth. This is the ball, six Jaguar, but the swarm is starting to get closer and closer. Seventh Anaconda, I think the seventh Tiger, Snowball, Wolverine's gonna finish. It's only one marble. Wolverine. Yeah, as you can see. And some of the swarm got stuck. Wolverine will beat the swarm, so everyone behind is eliminated. But it's gonna be Cosmic, first of all. They did okay this event. Um, let's see who else. Um, I believe 10 marbles advanced, okay, Thunder. Hornet will somehow not finish this race in last. Call it a miracle, that's what it might be, but somehow Tsunami got last, but they won them in the blue group in time attack, so could not be a complete disaster for them. So um, these four are out, and the next 10 will proceed to the final for these two groups. And we'll see who wins in each of those groups. Uh, so we got two out from the green, two out from the blue group. So yeah, uh, let's see what happens and who wins in these two groups. And then we'll get to see our next two and arguably more action-packed groups. All right, we got our final 10. So let's start in three, two, one. Orange Nasty Grace is stuck at the start and he gets stuck again. That's not good for him. 
Who will it be? I think it's maybe Snowball or Slime. It'll be Slime. This is the best that, like, the racers have done in every practice, like, in every race. Like, in the practice events, as few as five marbles would advance from the first race. And Anaconda it has been kind of disappointing during qualifying. It would really stink if they don't qualify again. But currently they're in last, I think. Nearly in the ninth, but Crystal Ball takes that away. Still had to be good enough for fifth in Anaconda's group, which is still respectable. All right, the Swarm's getting ready to be released. Um, and here they come. There they go, King Cow Head leading them. It looks like it's Wasabi leading farther down the course now. But Jaguar in a close second. Oh, Jaguar takes the lead. They're in different groups, so they both win their group. But Slime is in Jaguar's group. So Slime and Jaguar are off to five for one position. Slime has it now. They won their group back in time attack. Can they win it here? If they could, that would be monumental. Slime would probably have a guaranteed spot in qualifying. Here they go. Can Wasabi overtake them? Yeah, Wasabi actually will. And it looks like a Swarm Marble fell off the course. Don't mind him. He doesn't count. Um, Slime will come through second. They'll win their group, though. Wolverine second in their group. Tiger second in their group. Here's Anaconda now. And ja Jaguar will beat the Swarm. Because the ball is not so lucky. Um, neither is Orange Castle Gracer. Who else is still on the course? We got Dark Demon. And Snowball. And, yep, Snowball in the back. So with that, Snowball gets fifth in his group. Dark Demon gets fourth in theirs. Orange Chassis Gracer gets fifth in theirs. Crystal Ball gets fourth in theirs. Jaguar gets third in their group. Same with Anaconda. Tiger and Wolverine both getting second in their group. Slime wins the blue group again, practically guaranteeing themselves a spot in qualifying. And Wasabi got second in time attack in their group. But a win here practically guarantees them a spot as well, even if their battle bots brawl did not go great. They would need to do absolutely terrible in the last event to not qualify. So yeah, great performances by Wasabi and Slime. But now, the red group and yellow group await. We've seen tons of surprises, especially Cyanide and Tennis Ball not doing great. And then, of course, there's Black Hole. And if you don't know what he did in Time Attack, you should certainly go watch that video because it was very incredible. And of course, we have fan favorite and time attack winner northern lights and so yeah now we know what happened to these two groups let's see what happens in these two and then we'll be all set up for our qualifying finale all right so we're ready for our red and yellow groups three two one there we go 14 more marbles are off oh sign i got stuff that's and very bad for them oh well, sign i'm making some good moves but it won't be enough to get near the lead and now they're going to get pushed back a lot, actually. But let's focus on the front. Looks like it might be Onyx. No, it's Jungle. Those are both racers from the red group. Northern Lights in third. Onyx is actually... Where did they go? How did you sit back like eight? And the back of the pack, Cobalt has been not so great. I think that's Blue Cyclone who's leading. That's a huge surprise. Dead last out of everyone in Time Attack. And of course, last in their group. Jungle second, Cyanide, all the way up into the top few. As they continue going, Northern Lights lost the ground in that final. And now, in just a sec. Tennis ball towards the back now. And here comes the Swarm. And Vortex number one. One or two down to Vortex number two. I don't know how they did that so fast. I doubt we're going to have many um, marbles that make it this time. Cyanide is somehow leading. They're showing that they actually are pretty good at racing once you get in the right event. Can Cyanide win this race? At this point, with the speed of the swarms going, it'll be a pretty good accomplishment just to survive. Cyanide, 
Blue Cyclone, both gonna get through Rainbow Roller and Phoenix fighting for third. Black Hole in fifth. Minty Monster sixth, Jungle seventh. So we are gonna have a good bit of finishers, but where will the Swarm be? Can Banana do it? Yep. And there's a couple of Swarm Marbles got stuck. And none of them are getting pushed free. Here comes Onyx. Can they beat the Swarm? It'll be a race to the finish. Onyx beats them. What a finish for Onyx. So Cobalt, not so lucky. Neither is Tennis Ball. Tennis Ball probably isn't going to qualify, which is a big surprise. And I said there weren't going to be many that made it through this course. And yet, somehow 11 Marbles, I believe, unless I missed something, are going to advance. Primacy has been doing decent, so they'll probably make it. But what a surprise. Two of the best and most respected marbles, Cobalt and Tennis Ball, both taken out of this one. But somehow, despite the incredible speed displayed by the Swarm, 11 marbles instead of the 10 from last time advance. I mean, the marbles were pretty good in this practice round, in those practice rounds, but they have really given it their all here. And impressive by Cyanide, who's not had a great qualifying, showing that even if they're new and a rookie, they can really win. So let's see if Cyanide can really win in the yellow group and get some much needed points on our um, final race here in the Swarm race. All right, ready to go. 11 marbles still remain at the original 14. Three, two, one. Cyanide will probably win in their group again, although Black Hole is obviously very strong. But Cyanide got stuck at the start and was way behind still won. Bit of a slow start for them here. Jungle, your leader. Now Cyanide getting back up towards the front. They actually might take the lead here. And wow, I think they will. Cyanide barely won any practice events. And yet they're dominating here. Phoenix winning in their group right now. But Jungle close behind. Rainbow Roller second in the yellow. Black Hole third in the yellow. And... Then there's Northern Lights. All right, go. The swarm's off. Down below. It looks like it's still cyanide in the second to last vortex now. Getting closer, closer. The Swarm is not joking around this race. However, I seriously doubt they'll be able to catch Cyanide, who's on their way to winning in their group for this event. Phoenix on the, their way to winning in theirs. Oh, but here comes Rainbow Roller. Rainbow Roller is going to challenge for it, but they're not going to get there. Now Cyanide down the maze, and they will win in their group. Rainbow Roller gets briefly hung up. They're actually going to lose a position in their group to Aquatic Racer. Now Phoenix will come down and actually win their group despite getting fourth. Jungle second in their group. Onyx third. And here's the Swarm, they got stuck. Minty Monster, can they survive? No. But still an okay performance. And Blue Cyclone comes down next. Who's gonna be next? I believe Northern Lights. Oh, Black Hole is down there as well. Oh, and Banana is way up there. There's no hand lights. And banana way back there. So, no canning for them. The cyanide dominant. They win both races in this group. Rainbow Roller making a critical error. And that one point might down the line be what makes them not qualify. We'll see. They're doing okay. Aquatic Racer second in that group. Phoenix, Jungle, and Onyx, the top three from that group. So, um, yeah, it's just about time for the end of this video. But before we do that, let's do one extra event that you may just like. If one of your marbles that you love did not make it past the clash, we're going to do an exhibition race. All right. So we have the six that didn't advance from the clash. It's Lightning, um, Red Bull, Serpent, Midnight, Icicle, and of course the champion and still the best marble ever as far as I'm concerned. Hazy Blue. Three, two, one, go. All right, this exhibition race is off. You don't get any points for this. It's just a for fun race. 
Oh, and the lightning got stuck. Not good for them. We might get to see a fun hazy blue surfing battle. As I say that, they are right next to each other. Maybe Serpent can finally beat Hazy Blue. And here's Icicle, the nicest marble alive, who helped three marbles advance from the Clash and somehow didn't advance himself. Hazy Blue with the lead, now midnight in second. They're the only two up there. Serpent's gonna drop back to fourth, maybe? Oh, they'll keep third. Icicle is fourth. Now midnight might take the lead. Of all marbles, you would not think midnight would be the one to win this race. Not very good. They've only won one event, and that was the event where you win by being the last one to finish the course. For all we know, they weren't even trying, and they were going as fast as they could. One could argue that that's true. All right. And here comes the swarm. You could feel a bit of an earthquake there. The swarm, a lot of them combined, they're very heavy. In fact, I think if one of them fell, obviously they won't count. But Midnight is still leading. Enlightening, the final battle of the marbles that you definitely would not expect to win this race. Who's it gonna be? Midnight. Trying to finish. There we go. Midnight through the maze now. It's hard to pass in the maze. And Midnight wins the exhibition race. Lightning will come across second after a bad start. Third is gonna be an actual swarm marble. They get stuck. Casey Blue now has the opportunity to beat the swarm. Will just barely. A close finish. Icicle gets fourth. Serpent will come across fifth. And what a just poor race for Red Bull. Only ahead of one Swarm Marble. That Swarm Marble will almost definitely pass them in this final tunnel here. Tough to be Red Bull today. Oh, he might actually. Red Bull could still be the Swarm Marble. I got stuck there. He's gonna win. One. Oof. So Red Bull gets sixth. Fifth is, I believe, Icicle. Or maybe a Serpent, I can't remember. But the top three, Hazy Blue in third. Second ended up being a Lightning. And first, Midnight, your winner of this exhibition race. So now, um, let's look at some points and see what each marble needs to do to qualify. Because it's getting quite tight. And now that we're coming down to the line and qualifying, 12 marbles will not advance. Only the top four from each group will make it. And while some marbles like Northern Lights, Wasabi, and Slime are almost guaranteed spots, there are others like possibly Cyanide, Cosmic, or Jaguar who are dancing right on the elimination line, and they'll need a good final event to advance. And speaking of the final event, we might as well tell you. See this maze here? Well, we'll make it an event. It'll be a short sprint. It's called a survival race, where the last marble in each race is eliminated. We've practiced this. And it's got some very interesting results. So we hope you like it, and we'll see you next time for this great event. But here are some points, and yeah, bye!